The current global economy state has brought with it new challenges. We, however, have not yet solved the previous challenges that have proved to be even more difficult to tackle by day. Poverty, carbon emissions, and unemployment are challenges experienced globally, and we have not been spared either. To add to this list, we have experienced families going for days without meals, gender-based violence, and even drug abuse. Dondora has come a long way in cleaning its impurities name. A slum famously known for insecurity and every form of vice known to man, the slum dwellers plus the administration have worked tirelessly over the years to try and bring glory to it. We have seen both governmental and non-governmental organizations come to the rescue of kids, women, and youths as they try to preach the gospel of living together in peace and harmony. Organizations such as Dreams, Giving Ladies a Bearing, Dandora Yes We Can, Engaging Youths in Sports Programs, and Dandora Creatives, Opening doors to creatives within the slums have seen more youths engage in activities that help mold a generation. Such organizations, with the help of the residents and local authorities, have seen Dandora gradually grow from this. The cold-blooded killings in Dandora occurred the same day that another businessman was shot in Huruma area, the incident sparking protests from residents of the area who blocked Outer Ring Road and lit bonfires to this. The Dandora Stadium will now be ready for use in another one month, with the contractor stating that the final touches will take a month to complete. After a two-year wait, the construction resumed in February. The stadium was 60 or rather 80% complete when construction was stopped by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission in 2021. However, with the growing population and tough economy, these demographics are quickly retrogressing. Cases of theft, extrajudicial killings, child negligence, gender-based violence, drug abuse, among others, are on the rise. Families cannot afford tuition fees even in public institutions where education is considered free. We have witnessed children spending cold nights outside without meals. Dandora's environment's stare is an eyesore, especially areas around and bordering the dumping site. Following the closure of Mokuru dumping site, Dandora's case could get worse if not properly checked. Carbon emissions has been on the rise, with a lot of smoke being emitted 24 hours a day. This has proved to be a health hazard to the residents and neighborhoods such as Kariobangi, Korogosho, and Lakisama. We clearly understand that health is wealth, and the locals' wealth is gradually being taken away from them. The situation is even dire with a constant lack of clean running water, which is a basic need. Residents are forced to purchase water for use, which is sometimes unsafe given the source. Seniors' choir has walked, talked, and settled in this community. Started in 2017, the choir was established to give hope to the community. This has been our solid foundation over the years. We have grown to become the image we yearned to be. Opening doors to youths in Nairobi, mostly from slum areas, has helped us learn, adopt, and grow tailoring our mission and vision statements 
to the ever-growing need and demands of the youths, groups, and the community at large. Seniors Choir, therefore, empowers youths by providing them with an opportunity to enhance their music literacy skills while addressing the pressing issues of youth unemployment and crime. By participating in our choir program, youths not only develop new talents and improve their cognitive abilities, but they also serve as mentors and positive role models for younger generations. Our unique approach promotes intergenerational collaboration and fosters a sense of community, ultimately leading to reduced youth unemployment rates and a decrease in crime rates. Listen in to this amazing story from one of our members. Hello, my people. My name is Lelani Ramirez. Now, we have a group called Seniors Choir. We're going to be singing tomorrow. So I want to introduce you to my team. Hey, guys. I'm Shamli Mwangi from Seniors Choir. Thank you. Hello, good people. My name is Alice Barongo. I think Alice Thank you for coming to our show. Yeah. Hello, hello, guys. I'm Juliet Kirovo. Welcome to our show. Bye. Hey, before hi, I'm Lavinia from Senior Square. Hello, I'm Liz. I sing soprano and Karen. Hello, I'm Yamura Kida Yamura and I sing alto. Welcome. Hello, Habarizenu. My name is Cornelius Mkabwa. I sing bass. Hello, I'm Doreen Oteno and I sing tenor. Hey, I'm Ujiambo. I sing soprano too. Yo, my guys, it's me, Aaron, once again. Thank you so much for your love, for your support. I think all of uh, everyone who spent the time going to come here and support Senior Square. Love. Hi, my people. My name is Harriet. I sing soprano. Um, I joined Senior Square um, three months ago. That was in February. Yeah. No, March. I joined in March. My journey in Senior Square has been great. I can't complain. The family has been there with me. They've always protected me in any way. And through the singing thing, I can't say um, it's bad. It's a bad thing. Our teacher, Haron, he's a very good teacher, and he has taught me a lot of things. My vocals, my how to, how to, I train my vocals so well. And I'll, what I also want to say about Senior Square is that Senior Square is a great family. And um, we go to different places, we explore different places. And so far, so good. It has been great. That is all I can say. And uh, thank you so much. With the rising number of youth unemployment cases, poverty, and environmental pollution, Senior Square has welcomed and adopted a model aimed at securing a future that is included towards talent and professionalism. Through this, we are able to not only nurture talents and spread hope, but also tackle the rising issue of unemployment. All I need is prayers. Deep down I'm lost and it's getting darker. Each day I try, I keep on pushing, but they say I'm a failure. Every time I try to find myself, but bro, I can't get closer. Each step I take every day, everything seems to be getting harder. Every time I go to my knees and pray, even though I know I'll never be the same. Never gonna change my life with the pain, never gonna love, never gonna love again. All I need from you is to pray for me. Down inside, just go on the knees. I need your prayers to keep me pushing, to keep me strong, because I'm always fighting. All my life, I never knew healing. Time and again, I kept on breaking. Left with the dark and cold night freezing. Dead in my brain, because I'm not even feeling. Lately, I've been going through a lot, and I don't know what I'll be anymore. Maybe I was meant to be lost. Maybe I was meant to be alone. Over the years, we have sung, touched hearts, and moved souls. Here's our journey in a nutshell.
We still strive to become the best, often adopting to changing times, tackling emerging issues such as mental health and child negligence. We have created a safe haven where youths and teens can come together and discuss their issues without fear of being judged or discriminated. Music has always been our binding factor, and we have extended this to the community through masterclass programs in different schools around the community. This has rekindled young talents and shown a ray of hope. We have witnessed the smiles on the kids' faces, the angelic voices propel us to do and give more. Our members are a true testimony of how powerful music is. Our hands-on activities such as soap making equips our members with added skills and aids in our objective of ensuring proper sanitation is achieved. Our activities include 1. Music theory and practical training 2. Soap making 3. Kids feeding program 4. Donations to children homes, street children and even donations of sanitary towels and mailboxes to the less fortunate 5. School programs such as master classes and choral music training. Seniors Choir takes pride in friends of the choir. They are people who've made us rise above our tides. We appreciate organizations, religious institutions who have stood with us and offered solutions. They've always opened their doors whenever we knocked and pushed us to reach our greatest potentials. Our funds are our main drive as Santini. We are seen as choir, we live and love music.